From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment, but first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. A young mom is dead and her two-year-old child in serious condition tonight after being hit by a car in Tampa. Now three men are behind bars. It happened on Bayshore Boulevard on Wednesday while Jessica Reisinger was pushing her daughter across the street in a stroller. Tampa police say a 17, 18 and 20 year old were all racing when one of them crashed into the mom and her daughter. The drivers of both cars are charged with street racing, vehicular homicide and reckless driving. In Manatee County tonight, some students were welcomed to school on Wednesday by metal detectors. Bayshore High School now installing them after a 16 year old student brought a loaded gun to school on Tuesday. The district now banning backpacks for the rest of the school year at the middle and high school levels. And deputies will also be randomly using metal detector wands on students. The teen accused of bringing that gun onto Bayshore's campus won't be allowed back. And the Coast Guard still searching for the man missing from a cruise ship sailing from Tampa to Key West. Carnival says 50 year old Brian Layman's fell overboard on Tuesday morning. The Coast Guard sent out aerial teams on Wednesday to search the Gulf. The search is now centered about 85 miles off the coast of Fort Myers. In other news, the National Transportation Safety Board wants all new school buses to have both lap and shoulder seat belts. Seat belts rather. It's also recommending automatic braking and electronic stability control. Also, the NTSB releasing their preliminary report on Wednesday regarding the pedestrian bridge collapse at Florida International University. Now, according to that report, eight vehicles that were under the bridge were fully or partially crushed. Seven of those cars had people inside. The NTSB is now focusing on cracks in the south and north ends of that bridge that were discovered days before the collapse. And now here's Dennis with your forecast. Den. How you doing everybody? Chances continue to rise that this system, regardless of whether it's a depression or a storm, gives us a lot of rain this weekend. Now I do think the best chance of rain will be Friday into Saturday. But regardless, the track likely would take a little bit more of a westerly track, maybe the panhandle of Florida to Louisiana, so that would limit any kind of chances of any kind of wind. So in my mind, the way this plays out is even if it does develop, and I think there's a decent chance it will, we're looking at just much better rain chances Friday night, Saturday, and into Sunday. Thanks, Dan, and don't forget you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device, and remember to download our free ABC Action News app. This ABC Action News Brief was brought to you by AlertFloridaToday.com. Drivers always avoid distractions while driving and focus on the road because safety doesn't happen by accident.